but I can just hit uh, start recording and say hello everyone and welcome back to Jambuti Jams. I'm Wokey, technically Purple Wokey. I forget that Purple's in front of my name. And I'm here uh, with Zenra. Hey everybody. Full name Zenrata. We both go by shorthands of our much longer names. Well, it's funny because my, my, what is now my shorthand used to just be my name, but then I extended my own name like a pompous ass. I was like, <laughs> you know, my name is not long enough. Uh... There's a character in the, the in Psychonauts whose last name is very similar to Zenrado. I think it's called like uh, Zenodo. And I looked at it and I was like, whoa, you guys are clearly ripping off of Zenrado, trying to use a Zenrado look to get your, your name and better. Trying to get more LRs into <laughs> the battle. <laughs> Tim Schafer had a feeling in the force that eventually Zenrado would be good LR luck and he put a similar version of it into Psychonauts. <laughs> That's the official lore. <laughs> and that, with that, welcome to Jabuti Jams, the only, the only uh, podcast slash video series dedicated to Jabuti heroes, Jabuti, as Wikipedia. Which heroes? Yes. Uh, the only video series dedicated to it, and talking about it, and going through absolutely everything, and also occasionally stopping to talk about Shonen Jump characters that we like. We just they're... really like Shonen Jump, yeah. We really do. Who knew that Zenrado really loves uh, Shonen Jump? I would never have guessed it. You always talk crap in every single one of your Shonen Jump in chills. On, on the only videos that I currently upload to my channel are <laughs> podcasts about Shonen Jump. <laughs> yeah. If people don't watch it, then it's just like you just nonstop just going shit page, shit page, shit page. <laughs> just two hours of me scrolling through every page of every series. Garbage. Yeah. Absolute trash. Garbage. What are they even trying here? Come on. Garbage. Garbage. De decent. Garbage again. <laughs> the whole thing. It's two hours of me calling every page garbage, but there's one every episode where I'm like, that's pretty good. <laughs> and then the, all the comments are about that one page that got good and just like they debating. <laughs> debating on if it's a better or worse than the other one you called garbage. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get into it. We did, we did unfortunately have to skip a week because unfortunate circumstances, but we're still here during the current celebration, which is based off of the series. Oh god, Sakikage Otojukujuku! I'm gonna call it Otokojuku, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, you can keep calling it that because I have no way of uh, ever remembering how to pronounce it. A series from the uh, mid '80s that ran into 1991, so it escapes both of our wheelhouses. It is about a school for men who want to revive the spirit of Japan. So they basically are—it's all about um, polishing your manhood, which is what Wikipedia calls it, which is really it's funny. A, it's it's uh, slash R slash men's rights. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, and you can tell it was in the '80s because everyone is built like fucking Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Yes, everyone has a very much that art style look about them. Yeah, if you want to actually do a um a look through the eras of Jump Heroes, you can always tell the most popular ones are the ones that ex makes the uh, following characters' body builds make sense. So Kenshiro gets big. Jojo releases the beefiest fucking men in the world, followed by any other character that gets popular is all equally beefy, and then you just get not and stop beefy dudes. Until the 90s, where I feel like beef is not as well liked as previous, so we get a little bit more yeah, skinny dudes. Uh, they, they skinny out until like 2k, where we start getting really skinny pretty boys. Yeah. Of course, Dragon Ball notwithstanding, because you know... They're not as beefy, but they're still pretty beefy, I would say. Well, Dragon Ball starts, like, with the inverse, because Goku's not that beefy in, like, Dragon Ball. Like, no, even he's when he's an adult. But then in Z, he just starts getting absolutely shredded. Yeah, just, like, shredded just like a like Ninja like Turtle. He's got insane... Ripped. The man is ripped beyond words come, like, <laughs> Z era. Yeah. And and it follows that until today. But they're but usually characters with the big beefy are usually like jobbers. Like it's that dude Videl fought. Those are the, the big <laughs> Spobovich and Super Vegeta and Super Trunks. They're always just like all your muscles mean nothing. 
What a failure. That's basically Toriyama's feelings, I'm gonna assume, on all the other 80s buff men. On 80s buff boys? His uh, sub-tweets in manga form as he goes. <laughs> Whatever, that beef don't mean nothing. My character's a lead. Let's check your, let's check your uh, sales figures against mine. Look at this beef. <laughs> Worthless beef. <laughs> Not even Kobe reality. So yeah, this series, I really wish... This actually looks like a series I would be super into, just based off of the first uh, cover here. But unfortunately, it was not... It did not catch up in the English side of things. And I think, actually, someone told me that someone is currently going through the process of translating all of it. But there are 34 volumes of it, so... <laughs> uh, so they have a while ahead of them, is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> it also apparently starts as an early like gag ga, uh, gag manga, and then eventually it just gets super serious, as most gag manga. Oh, uh, they just start like going in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, but yeah, this is an event. It's actually kind of cool for me to for them to base an entire event around a series that I have absolutely no idea. One, I like it in concept because it's like, oh yeah, a series from the '80s that was super popular doesn't really get a lot of love today. It's not like you won't see this character, these characters in Jump Force. Because they're not the the big sellers compared to the others, even though they did sell well in the in the past. But there's totally a place for them, and it's also great for us because there's really no reason for us to summon, <laughs> except for that Momotaro is apparently very good. Oh my god! Okay, are we at the point where we're talking about him? Because fucking a. Let's start with the showstopper. Let's talk about the dude who actually is the reason you would want to summon. And there's still time to summon by the time you hear this, so. What does he do, Zen? Will there still be time by the time they hear this? Because he goes away tomorrow. Are you going to upload this <laughs> by tomorrow? Do you doubt my power, Zen? I will upload I'm this tomorrow. I'm just saying that we, have a, that we have a time frame for this to be I'm, on time. I will upload it. I don't care that I work today. I will upload it. Okay. Uh, so Momotaro Sarugi, the new limited. He, the, the sub, or not the subreddit, the... Um, the, what do you call it, Discord server that I'm there in for this go. game puts him as the best blue limited in the game. And uh, I agree, because holy shit, he's insane. So, mm. at, at level 12 ultimate, he <clears throat> removes two attack down debuffs from, the in, from two party members. So he removes the debuff from two people when he attacks. And he does 470%. And he does an additional 10,000 on top Jeez. of that. And for two turns, ultimate attack damage of all blue team members goes up by 20%. What the f... He's wild. And then uh, his passive at level 12 is he uh, reduces the bubbles required to make a skill bubble for him by one. So he has one reduction on making a skill. Then before his turn, he turns a heart bubble into a green X paint. So when you pop it, it makes the X of green bubbles. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the very first turn, he gives you 20% charge to your Legend Summon. So you just start with 20% in your Legend Summon gauge instead of zero. Wow. He's so good. He's so fucking good. And even as a buddy, he is a weakening buddy for blue. So he converts a yellow bubble to a skill bubble, so like to an ultimate. Then he does six red bubbles to blue, two yellows to gr and greens to heart. And then he weakens all enemies by 30%. Which means that whenever they take damage, they take 30% more damage. That's kind of nuts. He's so good. Like, holy <laughs> shit. I, I love this unit. I, I didn't even give a shit. They, like, they brought this out, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. I don't have to give a fuck about this, because who can, like, what is this even? Yeah. I'll just ignore it. And then they're like, yeah, we knew you were going to do that, so we made him like, the best shit in the world. That's great. I love the idea of like, okay, so just in case there's anyone out there who doesn't want to summon for this guy, we are going to make him busted. So if you love this series, there's also a good reason for you to just go out and get him because he's the best top, top of the top blue. This is actually yeah, the first he, time... He's bonkers, I, dude. This is the first time I'm looking at what he does, and that's... All that seems insane. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking crazy. He's so good. I, yeah, I don't know what they were thinking when they put this kit together. They were like, let's just make him fucking unstoppable. <laughs> there has to be someone on the dev team who's just a huge Momotaro stan. 
He's like, yeah, no. like there's one guy who was like, yeah, I know y'all like Naruto, but uh, what about Atoka Juku? All right, <laughs> <laughs> this is the real peak fiction right here. Remember where you came from. You would not get Naruto if it was not for this man and the pay- the roads he paved. Respect him. <laughs> Give him the best. And that was enough for them to make him absolutely the best unit in the game. Now I also know, I realize that he is a blue typing who is balanced. Do you think that Zoro Jiro was built the way he is to specifically counter him? Because doesn't uh... he deal the extra damage to balanced characters? Let's see. No. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, he does. So he goes to 550% if it's balanced. But I don't think so, because I don't really see Momo, uh, Momotaro in PvP all that much. Oh, okay. So he's one of those you just use on well, Momo. He, yeah, he's like a, he's like a single-player uh, guy. He's like super busted in that. In PvP, he's okay. <laughs> um, but not like... I wouldn't be terrified of seeing him in, in a PvP lineup. Mm, okay. But Fair there enough. is another limited available right now that I am terrified to see in PvP lineups whenever we get there. Okay. Let's see. All right, so that's Momotaru. It definitely worth it, if he, even if you're not a fan of him. But, of course, there are some... We also now know what's coming up in the future, so maybe that's going to make some people hesitate. Uh, let's quickly run through the other characters that were here that were added because they're all from this series and we really don't have much to say about them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey Hachi, um, who is rocking a, which makes me feel like this guy. This is clearly the, the inspiration for Hey Hachi and Tekken because he looks like just young Hey Hachi with no hair. Did he come? He didn't come out in that this event, did he? I thought he was already out. The other one, the one in the um, treasure outfit. There's like a new one. Oh, oh, oh! In the in the armor, in like yes. the samurai armor. In the, in yeah, the samurai yeah, 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 yeah. Armor. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, Hien, Goku Dodo, no, Go Goki Toto, Hyodo <laughs> Toto, and let's see, Goji Akashi, mm-hmm. Geku. Manjimaru? Manjimaru, and I think. Manjimaru. I'm not sure if Spartacus is new. Uh, um, I don't believe that Spartacus... No, Spartacus is not new. He came out last year. Okay, okay. He's not new. Um, And I think that it... Oh, I think that is it. I think there were some characters that came back returning that makes me feel like they're new, but they're not new. Uh, Let me just double check to make sure. Yeah, I think I got them all. And they're all from this series. Uh, the ones that are not um, summon, the ones that are summonable are Hien and Goji. The rest of them are free to play characters, so you can just gladly farm them. And these other dudes, this is like a new banner format for them, where they actually included them all in one banner. Uh, the same number of like nine multis gets you uh, Mamataro, regardless of anything, right? This is actually uh, so a... nine. The, the banner is actually really cool. So it's five gets you one of Hien or Goji, and then nine gets you Momotaro 100%. And then if you do the tenth, you get another one of either Hien or Goji. So if you do ten multis, you get two guaranteed copies of the, the regular fives on there and, and the limited. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty cool format, especially it might just be because I constantly see Pia. Uh, Legends players suffering from their shitty uh, step ups, where they go. There's no difference in our step ups. They have fooled us into thinking a step up is actually a step up when it's actually just summoning regularly. This actually feels like legit steps of you heading towards like guaranteed one of these characters, guaranteed one of these, and then you're basically done. You you can yeah. I mean now. nine multis for a guaranteed 100% pity of the unit is really good. Yeah, and if for some reason you decide to go to 18, they just give you a choice ticket. They're like, we don't know what the fuck you want on this banner, pick whatever. Get where you go. We don't know why you're still summoning. And then yeah. it starts back from I mean, one. you don't need dupes in this game, really, because you get a lot of those yeah. jewels to increase their stuff with. Yeah, I actually don't know what would be the point of getting like Momotaro to 9-9 other than to flex. Maybe the most whaliest flex I've ever heard of in my life. <laughs> Getting a limited character to 99 luck. 
Um, but hey, it's something you can totally do. And in terms of other characters, because it's not all characters from there, we actually got Kaiba into the PvP shop as well. So now we get Obelisk Kaiba, which I can't actually buy at the moment. Which makes me sad. Yeah, I can't afford him yet either. Um, I'm at 11,000. <laughs> mm, damn shame. And let me see, is the Endeavor Limited gotcha still up? Yes. Um, okay. It just came out like yesterday, I think. Uh, okay. It's up for it's up later than Momotaro is. I know that it's up until the thirtieth, so four more days, three more days. Mm -hmm. uh, Endeavor is the PvP beast. I hate that man. I hate him so much in ways that I can't explain to you properly. You mean you finally He's understand so... where Todoroki's coming from? Yes, I empathize with <laughs> with Shota Todoroki so much because this man's father is an asshole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just a real stack of shit so do you know what endeavor does no i have no idea i just understand that i, I think the only thing i know about him is i see Other you complaining about his wife time time. uh so when he ults he takes away the strongest attack and ultimate buff on the opponent <laughs> so when he does his ultimate attack he takes away two buffs get fucked it's so obnoxious so he just like, oh, you see Endeavor? Okay, well, time to get fucked. Time to lose all of the buffs I just put on. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, that, that that's a dick move right there. Uh, he is up for a few more days. He's nine also to get, like, guaranteed. You get nine, get him after nine multis. Mm -hmm. Um... I, I got him to put on my PvP team because I find him really annoying. He's not, like, mandatory, but he's very good. If he was not red, I would gladly go for um, go for him, but he's red, and I already have, like, Luffy and um, Kiniku Man, and so I want to start getting a different color limited. I somehow have yeah, Ken Kenshiro. Idea. I have no idea where he came from, but I somehow have him. A limited Kenshiro? Yeah, I don't know where he came What's from. You've... Fucking slaps. He's Does so he? good. Okay, yeah, good. Yes. Are you? Oh my god, dude, he's so good. He's like almost Momotaro tier, like wild. Mm, wow. Okay. Yes. I'm glad I randomly got him then. Uh, so yeah, he'll definitely be up. And the reason that he's still up is there any other unit you want to talk about that I missed? By the way. Uh, that's up right now. No. Okay. Uh, to talk about it all, we when we talk about stuff that's coming soon, yeah, but there's nothing else up right now. Okay. So, this is a good segue then, because the reason Endeavor is lasting a little bit longer than everyone else is because we're going to get a World Trigger and My Hero Academia crossover. I don't yes. know what... They're doing stuff together, and somehow that translates into us getting a limited unit... A limited combo unit that is Deku and the guy from World Trigger that neither one of us knows. Ooh, whoever neither... that fucking guy is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about World Trigger. Even though um, you read current up to date jump, you yeah, skip World Trigger. I just I haven't read it. Well, it was there was a lot of World Trigger out by the time um, I was like getting like the app downloaded, mm -hmm. and I was like, I got to do this, and then I was like, okay. Maybe later. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that status. Uh, Yu Yu Chi Jin is the character that's going to show up with um, Deku. What are your thoughts on this, uh, Zen? The idea of a crossover limited between two series. Uh, I think it's fucking dope. Mm -hmm. So there there is a crossover unit in the game already, which is the Goku and Luffy. Yeah. But it's free. Um, it, which is cool because like it's a free double tap because double taps are hard to get. But also, um, it sucks <laughs> because it's free. And, you know, free shit can't be that good. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's really cool to get one that's a limited because that means it might actually be, like, effective. So that, to me, that opens up the idea of crossover characters officially becoming, like, meta staples. Like, you're going to use them a lot. Because, like, the other duos are good. Like, Goku and Vegeta, Naruto and Sasuke, etc. Yeah, are, are good. Is. Yeah, Luffy and Ace. They're they're all good, but they're just like, you know, team up from the same universe. But getting crossover ones that are like that? Dude, I, oh my god. Could you imagine the cool shit that this could lead to? 
I could finally get a um, Kenshiro and Bobobo crossover unit. Because they're basically because Bobobo is just a parody of Kenshiro. Or even uh, better, no, can... what we need what we need is Bobobo and Yami Yugi. Damn it, you're right. Both of them together. <laughs> <laughs> and Yami Yugi's inside his head. That's the crossover unit. Most of them are side by side, but he's literally in top of his head. He's in his hair. Yeah, he's yeah. in his afro. <laughs> Yeah, just in general, there's a lot of good opportunities. It kind of, it's one of the, on the one hand, it's like, oh, they're limited, so that means that they're going to be pretty hard to get. But on the other hand, I kind of want to trade, the trade-off is good enough if they're actually usable. Yeah, because... and like, you don't need every single one, obviously, but the trade-off yeah. is that it opens you up to usable combos of, like, awesome crossover jump characters. Yeah, like, exactly. now that we have Goku and Luffy, imagine if the next anniversary or like half anniversary or whatever, is Naruto and Ichigo. Ooh, that'd be good. It would be so hot, bro. <laughs> or like finally... uh, the the kid from Demon Slayer and like Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, that'd be pretty good. The the, the brand new. I also want to see saw. <laughs> what are some combos that would just be so hilarious on its face value of like okay i guess you decided to cross over these two characters and now they're uh, together i want goku and the volleyball kid from haikyuu so <laughs> goku can make the spirit bomb and then he can spike the spirit bomb i want um a uh, high dio and senna from i shield 21 so the football boy and dio Just the I would, most. I would be down with that. Also, um, <laughs> another really, really, really good one. Honestly, I think any sports manga plus like battle manga is funny on its face. Yeah. But I really want like Kuroko and Naruto, so Naruto <laughs> can like make a Rasengan, and Kuroko can just bounce and like change its direction <laughs> for the best. Completely breaking any idea of what it it was uh, the of the Rasengan and its power of actually holding it. Just fuck it. He dunks it. <laughs> he makes the Rasengan and throws it up, and and Kagami jumps up and catches it and dunks it. In the, hoop. the obvious one I I completely forgot. I didn't mention is Sanji and the kid from the cooking manga that I don't remember the name of at the moment for some uh, reason. Soma? Soma, yes. There you go. That's funny that you say that because there's actually a manga made by the guy who makes Food Wars about Sanji. It's I called, because, uh, you know, Food Wars is like, what is it? Shokugeki no Soma or whatever? Yes, that is. He also special. makes one that's called Shokugeki no Sanji. That's funny. I remember really you talk, ta talking about it because you're like, yo, One Piece, but with good art. I love it. And I was like, you bastard. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Listen, I, I will not argue read, that the Soma the art is better. I read Shokugeki no Sanji and I read the ones that Boishi does. That it's literally just redrawing good One Piece moments with art <laughs> that I like. It's a great concept. Uh, I love the idea of it. Oh, man. Now I'm just thinking of more crazy crossovers. I want uh, Kenshiro with all three members of Sket Dance somehow. So you get Samurai and... <laughs> the... <laughs> no, you know who... This is, like, not a weird one. This is actually a good one. But you know what would be perfect? Is mm. Kenshiro and Jonathan Joestar. Oh, that would be actually pretty cool. Just so I'd... many punches. Non-stop. Non-stop punches. Uh, do do separate JoJo parts count as their own series? Because I was about to say I would love a. Uh, they actually do in the um, if you look at like the character list yeah. that has all of the characters on it, they're separated. I usually consider them, even though they are the same, uh, like the same telling story. It is kind of it does kind of feel like a new series just drops, even though it is a continuation of the series. Um, if so, I would totally love Jonathan with any of the other mains. Even Giarno go go completely crazy. The exact opposite spectrums of the of the scale. His son. I guess spoilers for people who did not see part five. But at this point, dun, it's dun. <laughs> too late. <laughs> you you've missed your chance. Yes, at this point, you've missed your chance. This is a great. I really am looking forward to them and seeing how good they are. 
Uh, here's my one issue, which is a really dumb issue to have, but I'm gonna say this anyway. I think the dude that's with Deku sucks. His face, I hate looking at it. Oh, not like as a character, but you no. just mean like this fucking guy. This guy could be the greatest well, character okay. ever. That guy's name is Yuichi, right? Yes. So is he's not the protagonist of World Trigger, isn't he? Isn't it? No, Yuma? it's it's yeah. No, he's literally a second banana when you look at him in the. So why <laughs> is he the crossover character? I don't. Maybe they don't want to use Yuma. I I, I honestly are they gonna don't... release a second one that's like Yuma and Bakugo? <laughs> Yuma and All Might. <laughs> but skeleton all might yeah maybe it is one i you know maybe it's like a pokemon situation where yuma is technically the pikachu of world trigger and you so, he's just, so yuchi is the is the ash. um the ash <laughs> the one yes. pulling the strings behind the scene <laughs> exactly so he's technically the main character but everyone knows when you're watching pokemon the main character is pikachu you care what peak what happens to that's pikachu. true Ash occasionally does some stuff, but you really care what happens to this Pikachu. So yeah, that's my only issue, is that every time I look at this guy, and also for the longest time, I thought that, um... Because I have this character, I thought he was mooning. Like, I thought, like, he was doing some weird ass stuff. Because if you look you at his, about like... about the, the weird pose that he's in? Yeah, and also the stink lines behind him. Like, it kind of <laughs> looks like... It's supposed to be, like, energy... Is it energy? Because I could have sworn it could have... Well, it's the same color as his sword. He has, like, a sword in his hand. It straight up looks like he just farted, and he it wants It does to look fart. like fart lines. Green is not a great choice. No, But you're gonna it's have not. it wafting out of his ass like that. <laughs> no, it's a terrible choice on that, on that part. Um, but maybe when this character, the, 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 the dual character, will just be so cool that I'll ignore it. Um, that's also possible. But hey, we'll just have to wait and see. See how it yeah, goes. I mean, I'm probably going to get it just out of celebration of the fact that it's a crossover limited. Just be like, yay, the first one. Yes. But I'm not super. I don't. Yeah, I don't really like this guy either, and I'm not super attached to Deku just as a character. So, yeah. Eh. You know, obviously, when the next limited come out, which is uh, Toriko and Kuwabara, I'm going to go full on <laughs> crazy spending for them. That's the duo <laughs> I want. <laughs> Five hundred dollars to max out Torco and Kuwabara. One hundred percent. Are you kidding me? I would love it so much. I actually like like the idea of main protagonists interacting is great, but I like the idea of them interacting with a random side character <laughs> even more. Like, oh my god, it's uh, what is his name? What is Sticky Balls' name from My Hero called? Uh, Mineta. Mineta and Emma from the Promised Neverland. <laughs> Who would have guessed the ultimate <laughs> oh, crossover? God. The ones, uh, the ones no one's expecting or asking for. That's what I'm kind of looking for. That's what I deeply wish to happen. But hey, we'll wait for it. Cool concept. That's that's my thing. Is like crossover shit is always raw, and so now you're giving us the option of like. Anything could happen, man. Yes, it is the promise of Jump Force yeah, made into reality. Super dope shit. Mm. And uh, regardless of how I feel about that character, this is dope as hell. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, it's just it's just the the fact that it's gonna happen and hopefully will continue happening is so fucking cool. Yes, this will pave the way for my eventual Arely with L unit that is going to come out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we could literally spend the rest of the episode doing weird combos but i think we'll have to cut it off at some point is there anything else for jimpudi that we need to talk about um looking through looking at shit i don't believe so uh we don't know if there's i mean obviously other units are going to come out it's never just the limited there's always other shit that comes out mm -hmm. with it um but none of them have been revealed or anything yet uh for those of you who don't pay attention in your guild halls which i'm sure is a lot of people there is a unity battle up right now um and it lasts for like two more days so make sure you're doing your unity battles so that you can max out this character guy here 
Yes. Um, because you never want to miss out on that. There's also some jewel shards in there, so you can work your way up toward a jewel. So you basically, as long as you put the work in, you get a max luck character, and you get some jewel shards, and like some gems and stuff. Mm-hmm. If you get all the way to 30 million, you also get 10 rainbow doors, but I don't usually go all the way to 30 million, as I am not that... I don't have the Sigma grind set. I can't do that. (laughs) (laughs) No, fair enough. I even... if You know what? If this... If uh, Jabuti had a auto-repeat, I would gladly do it. Oh, yeah, that would would change everything, bro. That would be a whole different... Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the one thing that I actually kind of wish um, it had. It's one of those things of like um, you don't appreciate what a gotcha has until you go to another gotcha that doesn't have it. So like I take it like I take for granted all the Dragalia auto wing stuff. So the second I go into another gotcha that does not have the same level of crazy repeat like repeat repeatability and constant grinding, I go, oh man, oh man, why doesn't it just take it from this gotcha? <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> Uh, it's not as universal, but, you know, plenty of time for them to eventually add it. Constantly improving the game and stuff. Uh, but yeah, I have to still do that, I think. I, I think I got a couple copies of them, but I'm just so lazy sometimes. Yeah. The, the and, thing with uh, farming in this game is when you have to start farming units who give, like, one luck per drop, and you have to farm the fight 700 million times, I'm like, Yeah. Fuck. Oh, okay. I think I did that for the Boba Book character, Halak Kulani. That was not a fun grind. <laughs> that was the yeah, terrible I was grinding grind. grinding them. They know it's bad because they you give you like up. two five-star ticket parts. Oh, you get two of them, yeah. The ones where they give you two ticket shards, you know they're like, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we apologize. Sorry, you have to do this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay. So we're just going to... So let's assume we're unfortunately going to have to drop World Trigger for this uh, conversation because neither one of us knows any World Trigger character to say what limited would you want to see from them. But for my hero, we have plenty to choose from of who could be another limited if after the crossover limited they decide to drop a new my hero. So who do you think would be a candidate for it? So the obvious choices are Abakago and Todoroki. Like a version mm-hmm. two, not a yeah. not a like duo, but just like one of them. Um, I would probably think Bakugo because I'm pretty sure the only Bakugo we have came out on release of the game, and it's just he's you know, god awful as that implies. So oh, yeah, this is a uh, a peak shithead Bakugo. Yeah, peak peak asshole Bakugo. Yeah. Yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Let me see. I think. Would it be fucked up to say that I think we need another limited All Might? Because I don't... <laughs> I kind of want more All Might. That's kind of where I come from, from my hero. Um, I am okay with that, because I also like All Might. Uh, but there's two All Mights in the game already. I'm just saying, give me the... Give me um, fucked up looking All Might. Limited like fucked up with... Skeleton All Might? I actually do think it would be cool uh, if we got a skeleton, like... Like, uh, did you ever play the MHA gotcha game, the old one, before it closed down? Like, Smash Tap, I think it was called? I think so. Briefly. I remember playing it. They had yeah. an All Might that came out close to the end that was, like, the skeleton one when he when he could only power up one arm when he fought all for one. And he did yeah. the United States of Smash. That would be a cool limited. Yes, that's basically... So, I'm still... I can't believe that it was a big discussion, but maybe that just shows people. But I absolutely love the United States of Smash because it is the culmination of his entire, like, naming scheme of his attacks of, like, Georgia Smash, California Smash, uh, fucking Kentucky Smash, even though we don't ever see any of these uh, other 50s, Hawaii Smash. Um, just have to assume it's in his back pocket, but I love the United States of Smash scene, and it's still, I think, my favorite My Hero moment, and that's kind of where... Uh, I guess in my eyes, I was like, okay, my hero is done now. And it's just been basically doing a victory lap of like, oh, I guess let's follow up on some of the other characters and what they're doing now that All Might is done. So I would absolutely love it if 
um, United States of Smash is in the game, but I can kind of see some people being like, Three All Mites, come on. Give us our other characters. Like Limited Iata, even though I don't think he's done anything that would make him a limited character. Miro, maybe. But yeah, I think that's basically where I come down on this, is that I would love more All Might. And absolutely zero um, villains can get limited, right? Except for Dio, because he's Dio. No, there's been some. Like, Muzan is one. There, there's a couple. It's, just, it's not common. Okay, my bad. You either have to be um, one of the most celebrated villains of all time, or have your series sell so much money that you make so much fuck you money that they, you can become a limited uh, villain. Is the requirements basically yeah if you want to be a limited villain you better fucking sell yeah sell like crazy i think probably what's his nuts the uh the the arm arm face man even though i think in the anime currently they're not actually at the part where he does anything except for it's the the my villain stuff um you probably shigaraki? Get, yeah Itaraki. shigaraki there you go i yeah, just call shigaraki. him the hand man because he's Hand-Man. He, you know, he loves handmans. Um, he can't have a best genus limited because uh, it would break the game. He'd be too good. Yeah, that's why they had to make him free. Because they're like, we can't, we can't make best genus uh, too good. We got to make him free. Uh, we can't deny the people best genus. Also, exactly. I would love it if they did the uh, best genus in a trunk. Make that into a unit. You know what I'm talking about from the one panel. From... Where uh, where Hawks supposedly killed him? Yes, where he's inside. Yeah. <laughs> Just make that into a unit. I'm also For... surprised Hawks is not a. Oh, they have to be yet. saving Hawks. Based off of his looks, you know he has. <laughs> That's the same reason I assume Bunny Girl is not in it because based off of their looks and <laughs> you... they're being saved for the real money maker. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's kind of my idea for it. Because if they dropped Bunny Girl, then I would just like skip this crossover unit and go straight for the girl. That's just uh, my M.O. in general. I know They know oh, what they're doing. Muscular women? Hell yeah. Are you kidding me? Love it. I don't... <laughs> I like how there's a consistent theme across every podcast that I'm on that my co-host is like, I will disregard all reason if muscular women is in the equation. Oh, are you kidding me? I That is my M.O. That is my... I'm your first. What are you talking about? I'm your... <laughs> I'm the one who started it. I'm your first. I know, and I'm saying everyone else, too. <laughs> <laughs> Every single person I, I co-host podcast with is like, yes, please snap my head off. Exactly. Either snap my head off or gently tell me it's okay. Go get your college degree. I'm that guy. Show me Miracle. Really? Show me Miracle getting her college degree. I would love to see it. Um, but yeah, I think those are basically it, I think. Yeah, I think All Might and Giant Bunny Muscular Girl. Yeah, I would like a Hawks Limited because I think Hawks is cool. Um, yeah, but I don't think he'll come in this. They'll they'll probably save him for like a My Hero centric thing, I would assume. Yeah. Unless, although, I mean, I'm basing this off nothing because I don't think that we've ever had like a. Well, we've never had like a crossover event like this with a unit like a limited on it, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't know if maybe they'll just drop like multiple limiteds from both. I I don't know how they're gonna handle it. There's definitely gonna be more. It's not just gonna be them. I don't think. Yeah, there has to be more, but we're going to have to wait and see what they reveal. Who knows? Maybe they'll have a... Let me quickly pull up a World Trigger unit, because I don't think we actually have very many World Trigger units, now that I've yeah, looked for them. I thought, but I still don't know any of them, so... Yeah, it's like a, a one row. Maybe we'll get a Chica and... Uh... Momo cross a crossover two characters totally just slam them together and make them into a crossover unit of some kind. I mean, it sounds like that's what they did with these guys. <laughs> kind of does feel like it a little bit, but hey, won't be complaining too long. But I think that's it for Japuti Jams. Thank you, everyone, let's for get, make- let's get this Osamu guy and Ida because they're just the same guy. <laughs> oh, the, they they actually are. They actually <laughs> look the same, dude. The only difference is that one has, like, a motor built into his ankle. <laughs> Actually, this guy also looks a lot like Switch from Sketch Dance, too. I remembered that when... He uh, does look a lot like the Sketch Dance guy. 
We need a combo character that is every character that looks like this. Brown hair, glasses, that looks like a side character. But instead of them all being on the same screen at one time, it just randomizes which one you get when you go into a stage. Oh, that, oh that'd be so good. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Different every single time. Different pair of glasses every single time. Just different, like the, different pair of glasses sidekick. I'd love it. There's so much cool things they could do. But yeah, I think that is it for Jimpooty Jams, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us, especially if you made it this far. If you made it this far and you're hearing this, why don't you leave a like? Huh? It helps us a whole bunch. <laughs> we'll keep yeah, doing it regardless. We'll, we'll, we'll click that little sub, sub button. Exactly. Get more content in the future. Yeah, you know that? And, yes, of course. And we will see you guys on the next episode. So say goodbye, Sam. Bye-bye.